Oh, I'm having fun blowing bubbles. This is one of about two dozen bubble toys I've got in my collection, but this one is a frog king, and he's in charge here. <laughs> but I wonder what other frog toys I've got other than bubble blowers, and there are quite a few here. For instance, this one here, which is one of his subjects, I suppose we could say, is about 40 years old. I was mending it last night with my desire to make things work properly and see what it does. Round and round the king is going. Isn't that fun? What a bizarre toy though, isn't it? Battery operated, one of many, and it's given children a lot of fun over many, many years. So that's been a great popular item. And here's a much slower one. It's a bit geriatric, this, but it's made by Tomi, who are brilliant designers in Japan. It just is, he acts very, very slowly, even when he's fully wound, which is strange. This is what he does. And another one. What a strange piece. Can you do one more? And his face goes up too, which is bizarre. So, totally making a very strange type of frog toy for very small children. It just, it, the odd thing about it is how slowly it goes. And I've never been quite, quite, not quite so keen in it because of the fact that it's not doing something quickly. It's just doing a very, very slow action. But there we are. Much more fun are air bulb ones. Now, I've got two examples of these. This is um, probably the best working of them. It, it hasn't got um, little leg switcher operated, as you see the next one. It's, it's, it's just done by a little piston, I think. So it works actually very well. Providing I just push and pull, push, 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 push. And when I'm doing it like this, all it does is making those go back and forward. There's a little piston inside, I would think. And it works very well. The other one, which is air bulb, is more realistic, a much older one, too. And what's nice about this is the actual rubber is this sort of stuff. It's, it's, it's the rubber of legs. So when you squeeze the bulb, it does, they do actually push that in, in a bit further to make sure it works well. And he sort of works, but he's a bit rough, this one. I mean, it's about, this is about 40 years old as well. Yes, there we are. He's just about working. His little legs go flip, 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 flip. Very strange idea. Then there's one here which is really, it's not like a frog, except you see the action is exactly what a frog like. It's, um, it's, a, it's a little handmade and sort of craft toy frog's mouth which has to catch a fly. There's a long piece of, of uh, nylon here. There's a fly on the end. There's his mouth, that's a frog-like mouth. You've got to throw it in the air and, oh, yum, 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 yum. So the idea is it flies into the mouth and catches. And for small children, it's quite tricky to get that to swing up in the air and for them to catch it. When they do, there's a nice, nice noise they can make with it. So a very simple craft toy, which I've never seen anywhere else since then, but it's really the idea of a frog catching a fly in the air. Nice one. I was very pleased to find this about 30 years ago. It's the first Australian toy I've ever come across. It's made by a company in Australia. It's plush, it's a frog. There's no battery inside, there's no wind up, and it doesn't even move. What happens is it's inside, listen carefully, It's sort of croaking. There's a wooden ball inside running up and down a little serrated wooden ratchet type thing, or like a less staircase almost. So it makes gentle little growling sound like a frog croaking. Very simple. And for small children, this is perfect because they can handle it with their hands. It's very safe. It's large, it's soft, plush, and it's got that extra bit of fun that they have a little croaking sound. Very, very gentle sound. Nothing violent in it at all. But well done to Australians. They did a nice job there and I've liked that toy ever since, I think. There's another one here, which is another puppet toy, which is a little more dramatic than the other one. And it's not, it's probably a factory made, this one. But here he is, like Kermit. And he's got a mouse that opens up. Well, when he does, see what happens. Oh, he's got a little party blower inside. Wonderful, isn't it? One of these things sticks out like that. Almost as if there's a flower on the end. Wonderful. So, chup, 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 chup. Unfortunately, I can't get my fingers into the into the hands to make them do different things, but that in itself is a lovely, lovely action. Very nice toy, that. <laughs> then there's another wind-up here, which is a little more dramatic than the first one I showed. This one actually goes quite fast, but he's a bit odd-looking, to be honest. Let's see if he goes. He's got to go. There we are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And his eyes are going to move as well. That's rather fun, isn't it? Simple little action, up and down, legs and arms feet and he 
and his and, uh, and his eyes go up and down as well. Did he go, fella? Ooh, I think he's gone on strike. No, he's gone on strike. Never mind, he's done the main action. Up and down, up and down, up and down. There we are, more curiosity work for me. I love taking toys to pieces and making them work again, so we'll have another go with him, give him a good talking to. Here's another one which runs across the table. It's bizarre, actually, this one. It's, um, it's made of tin. Look at the little legs, what can they do? All they are is they're attached to the wheels. So either you can have the legs training right behind, it goes like that, which is bizarre, to say the least. Oops, Daisy. Or you can have them coming out to the front, which is equally bizarre. Let's wind him up a bit more. Now that is very strange, isn't it? Look at that. Woof! Very strange, very strange. Tin toys. They don't always go for realism, some of these toy manufacturers or designers, but they're going for things which small kids won't mind about that. It's the fact that it runs across the table either way and it's fun to do. That's so a nice one, that I like it. Very original idea too, I've never seen that done before with wheels and so on. There's a lovely one here which is made by one of the major toy makers in America about 30 years ago, I think it is. And this is just superb. It's for very small children, it's quite large. Again, there's no batteries, no motors, no wind-ups. It's just all you do is with this thing here, you turn it and see what happens. Nice little surprise coming up. But a good croaking sound too. Wonderful stuff. Look at that. That's what it's doing. I think a small kid would have tremendous fun with that. And it's so simple. There's just one thing to turn and they can play with their hands and do all sorts of things with the extra bits and put different balls inside and everything else. But you've got to start with one, one mouth closed, one mouth open, and then away it goes. And if it goes in there properly, it performs. Nice one, that. I like that. Again, it's been a lot of fun at children's parties. Then there's a superb one here, which is made, it's almost too good for kids, this, but it's a wonderful version of the old frog princess. And it's got, um, it's, it's got a beanie bag stuff inside it. So the idea is it transforms. So let's have a go, transforming it into a print. I think it's a print actually, this one of the frogs so heavy. Anyway, give it a kiss. Then we've got to undo it like this, its mouth, turn it inside out, shake the beans all the way into the other figure, which is now starting to emerge, and his legs then drain the beans, will actually tuck in nicely into the mouth. And here we have, yes, I think it's a handsome print actually. Get a girl to kiss it next time. And then the, the, the zip is a, is a reversible zip, so it goes both ways. And there's a the transformation complete. Started as a frog, and look what it's turned into. Astonishing. Very, very nice. For small children, again, it's quite easy to do when they shake the beans down into the other figure, and then it'll just reverse and perform and get back into a frog again. Nice one, that. There's one here which I need to do on a vertical surface. This is a beautiful toy, actually. I didn't realise how good it is. It's got suckers on it. But the clever thing is these little bits of um, plastic here, which act as a way of breaking the seals. So when it walks down the window, the vacuum doesn't hold the thing back. And the idea is it flips. This one comes over like that. This one comes over like that, and so on. But clearly, you've got to do this on a vertical surface. So we'll have a go at breaking the sequence and have a go at doing it on a vertical surface. It's a very easy toy to do. And I was surprised how well it worked when, when I'd actually got it out of our suitcase because I hadn't used it for years and years and years. So we'll have a go now and see how it's working on a vertical glass surface. So let's give it a go, shall we? Put them on the glass and see if they flip flop, flip flop down to the base. Wow! 